Hey guys and welcome back. In the last video I was doing some work on the exhaust manifold in the S14. I came across some issues and that was mainly to do with all of the fittings that have been put on uh, onto the engine and the turbo either by the previous owner or a shop. I I'm not sure who to blame but doesn't matter. What I found were some major issues. There was a lot of Teflon tape used in incorrect uh, applications. So in a lot of the AN fittings there was actual Teflon tape that went right onto the 37 degree flare which is not where you want tape. You don't you don't want tape on an AN fitting at all. Um, if you watch my previous video, you'll see me rant about it a little bit. So what I've done is I've gone out today. I've picked up all brand new fittings and hoses, and uh, and I'm going to install them in, get that exhaust manifold back onto the S14, and then hopefully be back on track. Stick around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you guys through what I'm doing with the fittings, how I'm putting them on. One of the things to note is if you want to make your own set of lines for your coolant and oil on the turbo on your SR20, you could do that. You don't need to buy the kits that are out there that are already pre-made. If you feel that you want to tackle doing it yourself, go ahead. All those fittings that I'm going to show you, you can purchase at any automotive store, performance automotive store. The hoses, you just need to cut to the length that fit. Follow along if you want to do it yourself. So the first fitting that we're going to work on up on the valve cover here, this is a 3 8 MPT port. And um, so the fitting that was on there, this one is pretty mangled and it was already like that. Whoever installed it originally did not actually use the proper wrench to do it or just any way to protect the threads. So we're going to put a brand new one on, pretty straightforward. Um, because it's an MPT fitting, it's got that taper to it, you are going to want to use either a thread seal or a Teflon tape here. This is the one spot where you can actually use it not the AN fittings. So for me, I like to use ARP's thread sealer. I find it works really well. And uh, I got these, I picked them up from a local supplier, Mopac, and uh, it's Performance World brand, but I mean, it's just an aluminum fitting, 3 8 MPT over to a dash six. So uh, put a little bit of thread sealer on there and get it installed. So nice and straightforward, get it threaded in there, and then just clean up any of the excess sealer that comes out just so it looks nice. The next one we're cleaning up here is uh, the main culprit that started this whole uh, this whole hunt, and that is the M14, and that's a one in well M14 by 1.5 thread right there, and that goes to a dash six. So picked up some new ones. I'm going to need four in total. There's two that go onto the turbo, and then one goes on the block, and the other one goes onto the coolant water pipe neck. Um, the proper way to do this, once again absolutely no Teflon tape, you're going to instead use a copper washer and that is what mates up on the metric side there and that's where you get your seal. Then on the AN side, once again, uh, I'll repeat it over and over again, it's so important, no Teflon tape here, it is just going to seat right to the hose. So installation, super simple like the last one, you can see it right down there, there's one and then the other one is hiding right here under the water neck. Um, so that's those two and then over here on the turbo we've got one on the top and one down below. So that's the coolant return lines that we just did and the coolant feed line. Uh, now we're going to move on to on the turbo the oil feed line. Uh, so you've got the adapter here that takes it down to a dash three and then what you're going to need is a 12 inch hose um, pre-made. It's dash three and it goes from a 90 to a straight. So putting the line onto the turbo is pretty straightforward as well. You're going to thread the adapter right into there, and then you're going to put the 90 degree end onto this side. Um, you're going to want to clock this hose so it's coming towards the cold side, right there. And then what's going to happen is there's going to be an M12 banjo bolt here that goes on the block. Uh, leave this fitting loose for now. Once you have it onto the block, you can tighten it down once it's in the correct orientation. So the first hose you're going to do is on the back side of the turbo here and uh, you're going to use a 90 degree hose end. This hose here you're going to cut a 15 inch length and then you're going to put a 30 degree end on the other side. When you're doing the hoses uh, make sure you use a nice cutter if you're going to do it that way. It makes things so much easier. You can make sure you have the, the actual vice grips as well so you're not marring any of the aluminum. Um, and beyond that, uh, if, uh, if you have any questions about how to assemble hoses, uh, just go to my previous video. I've got one on how to do AN flares and hose ends, so uh, go check that out. Uh, another thing to note quickly, um, you're going to want to clock this hose uh, towards the cold side again, uh, the compressor here, because um, what's going to happen is once this is on the block, this hose here is going to actually kind of bend down there, and then it's going to head right over 
into uh, the water neck, the, the nipple that's coming off of there. So the second hose that goes on the front of the turbo is going to be cut to 16 inches, and you're gonna put a 90 degree end on one side, and the 30 degree is going to go on to the other one. So putting that hose onto the front of the turbo here, you're going to, uh, you're going to clock that one just slightly over to the side there, like so. Time to get this thing into the car now. So with the exhaust gasket in place, you're going to drop everything back in, um, bolt it down, and then you're going to move on to uh, this line that comes off the front of the turbo right down at the bottom there. It goes all the way around and it goes right into the block there. So do that one first because that's going to make it a hell of a lot easier to do the hose that comes from the back side of the turbo afterwards. So uh, yeah, so torque that one down and then you're going to take the hose that goes from the back and you're going to bring it right up to this nipple right here. And that's about it. Everything's tightened down there. I've got the hoses all tightened down. Uh, the last thing to do is the oil feed line right down behind there. So that oil feed line, we're gonna to have to get under the car to do that. Uh, like I said, it's a banjo bolt on there, an M12 banjo. Make sure you use two new copper washers. Um, and then the last thing to do is connect the oil drain that's on the bottom side of the turbo. Once again, go under the car to do that. And, uh, and that's about it. So I hope this video helps you guys out if you wanna make your own hoses or if you're just having trouble getting them to fit if you've bought one of the kits already. Um, and like I said at the start of it and like I ranted in the last one, just make sure you know when to use Teflon, when to use thread sealer and when not to. Beyond that, if you have any questions, please send me a message either in the comments down below or you can find me on Instagram, Brainpower Motorsports as well. Send me a message on there, I'll be happy to help you out. Give me a like, give me a follow, subscribe to this and uh, we'll see you in the next video.